In this video, I want to show you the arithmetic for deriving kinetic energy. Now, kinetic energy, we'll call that Ke, is equal to one-half mass times velocity squared. And we see this expression basically all over uh, physics and thermodynamics. And, you know, all of the physical sciences that use energy wind up using kinetic energy in this expression. Where does it come from? Well, I'm going to show you one place it can come from. We're going to start with an expression for work, an infinitesimal. An infinitesimal change in work is going to be equal to force times an infinitesimal change in distance. Uh, this, is, this is pretty similar to work equals force times distance. Essentially the same thing. All right, then um, we're going to go immediately to force equals ma, that's Newton's equation, and of course a is equal to dv dt, change in velocity with time. And I'm going to substitute into our first expression, so I'm going to say dw is equal to m times dv dt times ds. That's an S, not a 5. Then we are going to note here that, uh, that uh, ds dt, ds dt, which is this pair right here, ds dt happens to be equal to velocity. That is, a change in distance per unit time is the definition of velocity change in distance per unit time. So then I can write down here dw is equal to mass times v times dv. Now let's, uh, let's do a little calculus review. You should recall, and we're just going to use an indefinite integral, you should recall that the integral of x dx is one-half x squared. Now, can you see where we might be coming from here in order to go through this? Uh, the next thing I'm going to do down here is I am going to point out that the integral dw, which is basically work, but in this case, but in this case, all of the work has been transferred to the system, whether the system is a body or a particle or what have you. All the work has been transferred to the system. And so if the system is holding all the work, then it is holding that work as kinetic energy, or it could be holding it as potential energy, but typically what we're talking about here is kinetic energy. So all the system has been trans all of the work has been transferred to the system that way. Now we can take an integral of this side. We'll just go from zero to velocity to make it easy. Pull the mass out of the integral sign, and we'll say v dv. Now you see why we did this little calculus review. So now we can say that that is going to be equal to 1 half mass times velocity squared. And we have essentially accomplished our goal. That is, Ke is equal to 1 half mass times velocity squared. I hope you found this uh, video instructional, and I appreciate your time.